Hi, this is Melody Gray with the Houston Drama Club. This podcast is meant to help promote plays and musicals here in the Houston area. Our website is www.houstondramaclub.com, where you can find upcoming and currently playing productions. So join me while I go out into the Houston theater community to find out what's going on. Join the club and let's go see some theater. Hi, everybody. This is Melody Gray, and I'm so excited today to have two fantastic performers from the Stages Doyle and Debbie show that's currently up right now. So I'm so excited to have Luke Longacre. Did I say that right, Luke? Yes, you did. And also Chelsea Ryan McCurdy. And yes. uh, thank you, Chelsea, so much for being here. And it's so uh, glad to be here. And Luke is playing Doyle, and Chelsea is playing Debbie in the Stages production of Doyle and Debbie, like I said. And uh, at the end of the podcast, I'll give everybody the performance schedule and the location of where Stages is at. But I just wanted to talk a little bit to you guys about Stages itself. Is this the first time, Chelsea, that you've worked with Stages? No, I've worked with Stages on and off for the last decade, actually. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) So I'm uh, really, really glad to be back. Uh, The last two years, I've uh, I've been able to work in other locations, which unfortunately kept me from my theater home, which I consider stage as my theater home. Um, But I now am back. Well, that's wonderful. And do you feel like they have been able to maintain a lot of consistency? I know that there's a lot of theaters in Houston that kind of come and go and wax and wane. But, you know, Ken McLaughlin has been there since 2001. So do you feel like there's a stability there that you like? I think that they're, they have an incredible structure, and it just keeps getting more and more firm. Once you have an amazing foundation like Stages does, it can only um, get stronger from the ground up. And I think that they've done an amazing job. And, Luke, is this your first time, or how long have you worked with Stages? This is my very first time, yeah. This is my first experience with Stages, and it's, I've had nothing but um, good things to say about it. It's an incredible place, and um, of course, you probably know that they're getting ready to open up their new spaces in January, which is so exciting, and um, just having you know, done uh, a lot of research coming into Houston a year ago uh, about all the different theaters, um, Stages was one that I was really hopeful to work for, and I'm excited to get to to be a part of it now. Well, I'm so excited to go see this show. I'm going to see it before you guys end. And uh, I read one of the reviews that was just, I think it was in Broadway World, that just, you know, kind of went on and on about uh, you and Chelsea, as well as Travis Kirk Coombs, who's also in the production. And so I want to talk a little bit about the play and my first question, just from a theater geek's perspective, is this is a long production. I think it's about a two-month two month gig. How do you guys, and Chelsea, I'll let you answer first, how do you guys sort of um, keep your stamina and enthusiasm up over like a little bit of a, I'm not going to say grueling because you're professionals and you can do it. It's not like hard, but it is something that you really have to psych yourself up for. So how do you prepare for just this continued run? Well, um, this is the second show that I have had the opportunity to be in a long run of. Um, I was in the uh, Wonderette series at Stages about, gosh, about almost, almost 10 years ago when we started. Um, but uh, I think that part of it is just having an, a, an amazing team with Luke and Travis. Just we try and keep it fresh for one another every day. Um, by keeping the show, we rehearsed, of course, but um, connecting with one another more, um, really just lobbing things up for one another more than you would, I guess, in a normal show. You just go and you do in the monotony of it all. But I think that we work really, really well as a team. And Luke, do you feel like you've kind of settled into the show and you're finding new things, or do you feel like it's just a joy to do and you really don't have to think about it? Um, A little bit of both of that, actually. It's been such a pleasure to get to work on a show for a little bit longer than uh, usual regional runs. You know, um, sometimes you might have two 
or three weeks. Um, but for a two month run in a smaller market like Houston, um, it's, it's incredible because I honestly feel that you don't really get to know the character, um, as much as you want to until you're a few weeks into the run actually. And so getting to, to put on this, this guy's skin every night has been, um, number one, the show is, uh, it's just a ton of fun. And, uh, um, for us, you know, we love getting to see the audience's response and I've never worked on a show that has had such different audience responses every night, you know, one time, one thing will get a huge laugh and not the next night and the, that same night, you know, something else will get a huge laugh. And so it's just been a really, um, we discover things about the show, about our characters new every single night because of that, you know, and so that's been just a joy to, to get to experience. Well, and for my listeners, I want to say that the Doyle and Debbie show, well, I'll let you guys sort of give like a, um, a synopsis of it. Chelsea, would you tell us a little bit about what the show's about? The Doyle and Debbie show, <laughs> to me, um, it is about two singers. Uh, Doyle has had a long-standing career in Nashville. He's had to take a little break for uh, reasons not yet disclosed. And uh, Debbie just wants to get her foot in the door as a musician, and so she hitches her giddy up to the hopes that with him they can go far, and then sort of they figure out through the process that uh, their relationship's a little bit rockier than you would anticipate. So there's a little That's bit my of take on it. <laughs> and so there's a little bit of a conflict between you as artists on stage, correct? In in the production. Yeah. Right, but in real life, you're you know uh, great partners. I hear. So, yeah. uh, so Luke, what has it been like for you? For because I, I also read that there's uh, some controversial you know pieces of uh, Doyle's uh, musicology, and so you know how do you? And is that what you're talking about? Like some people laugh at some things, and some people laugh at other things. Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, there's, there's a little bit of political satire, uh, humor in there. And, you know, I, I, be, I really believe that no matter what side of the line that you're on politically, um, conservative, liberal, Democrat, Republican, I really believe that there's something for everybody in there. Um, and I do think that, uh, it, the show sort of asks the audience to point the finger at others as well as themselves. And if you come with that sort of frame of mind, um, you're going to have a good time, you know. And so um, we poke fun, a lot of fun at ourselves, the characters do. Um, and I think that we sort of ask the audience to do that as well. And so it's, it can be, you know, it's a rompous ride, the whole 90 minutes. It's uh, really short, but um, it feels um, like a ton of fun. So, yeah. Well, wonderful. Well, uh, I'm going to wrap up, but I want to ask, uh, Luke, what's the next thing for you? Because as actors, it's sort of like, we've got this great gig, but what's the next thing? And I know you are with Pastorini Bosby, and I did read on your IMDb Pro profile that you've done a short film. You have another film coming out. Can you promote anything for yourself? <laughs> um, well, actually... Uh my wife and I are going to be part of the fantastic Dead stages um, coming up in uh, January. Um, that's going to be, I believe, their first show uh, at the New Space. And oh, so wonderful! We're really excited. My wife and I, my wife's an actor as well, and we've performed. This will be our fourth show to do together ever. So we're really excited to get to perform together again. Um, so I'm going to be playing one of the fathers in the Fantastics, and she's going to be the mute, actually. Um, so we're really excited about that. Um, that's so performing wise, theater wise. That's that's our next project. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that, and I'm hopefully going to look forward to interviewing you for that as well, or you know, part of the team. And Chelsea, how about you? I know that you were at recently at Crimes of the Heart at the Alley, and I heard that was a really fantastic yes. show and experience. So what's coming up for you next? Well, um, I have some contracts coming up, but we have not yet a, a, had a, a, a press release. 
So I am not at liberty to divulge my okay. next adventure. Okay, um, I dig it. But there is something, so that's exciting. <laughs> yes, that is exciting. That's uh, good news as well. So I just want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day. I know what a stress it is. You know, you have a performance this evening, so I'm super grateful. And uh, for my listeners, stay tuned. I'll give you more information about the continued performances and the location. But thank you guys so much for joining me this afternoon. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So the Doyle and Debbie show is running through September 8th at Stages, located at 3201 Allen Parkway. For more information, call 713-527-0123 or visit stagestheater.com. Tickets range from $20 to $85, and there are performances Wednesday nights at 7.30 and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights at 8 p.m., and 2.30 p.m. matinees on Saturdays and Sundays. Thanks so much for listening. Bye-bye.